Hello everyone, it's Carly. And also, ignore the nails. This is what seven days of posting and filming looks like. It's just like biting. Put our hair up. Okay, so my hair is up out of my face, and the first thing that we're gonna do is start on our first cleanse, and I love to do a double cleanse, especially at night, just because I really wanna get my skin really clean right before I go to bed, get off any dirt and makeup that was throughout the day on my skin. Um, and so the first thing that I love to do is go in with my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. I switch between this and like a um, oil cleanser. Um, I just really like this for right now, it's a big case and it really helps to break up all of my makeup and just get my skin ready for my second cleanse and just really get this first layer of dirt and grime off of my face before I go in and really cleanse my face. Um, that way I know that when I'm putting on like my serums or my moisturizers or my essences, anything like that, my skin is truly, truly clean and all of the makeup is off. So this is what I look like <laughs> when I have all of my eye makeup off and all of this makeup is just like melted off. Like, Okay, now that we're all damp, I'm just going to pat my face dry and just make sure all of the eye makeup is off. Okay, now that all of the makeup and everything is taken off of our skin, now we're gonna go in and cleanse it. And I really love this Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser. For one of my favorite cleansers to use, I heard about this through a dermatologist I watch on YouTube. And the reason I like it is because one, it's just super cheap and affordable, but it's also really great clean ingredients, which is really helpful because I think it's nice on cleansers, they don't stay on your skin, so you're able to just like wash them off. So while it's important to still find a cleanser that works well for your skin and invest in great skincare, I like to save my money on cleansers. Okay, now our skin is all cleansed. And we're going to go in with our active ingredients and our toners. So what I love to use next is this Heritage Store Rose Water facial toner and it's almost empty which makes me really and this one is great there's no alcohol in there there's no fragrance nothing that's going to really irritate your skin and get my skin ready for like my serums and active ingredients so I used the exfoliate last night so tonight I'm going to be using the vitamin C serum and we're gonna get it out <laughs> and so I will just pat this into my skin and I love to do it when my skin is still a little bit damp from the toner the quality as well like I said with like serum and exfoliants and stuff like that it's really worth it to kind of invest a little bit more but at the same time not all skincare has to be like a thousand dollars but once it has I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer and this one that I is one I actually picked up from my facialist and it's the Cacteen balancing moisturizer and ooh, and I love this stuff I've only been using it for a little bit but I will notice right away if my skin doesn't like something. And so this has been great. And lastly, to finish up, I'm just going to spray. I feel like all of my skincare products are like on the edge, um, but that's how you know I love them so much. So this is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Chamomile and Lavender. So, And I could honestly do that for five hours. <laughs> and lastly, right before I go to bed, I will moisturize my lips. This is something that I cannot skip. I hate having dry, chapped lips. I will just put a little on my lips. And then this is one of my favorite tricks. Anytime I have any leftover, I will just throw it on my elbows. And I'm telling you, my elbows love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing some of the products that I love. 